Hi guys, it's Jermina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 206 on SO exam P. So we'll pause the video quick and just palm yourself. Okay, so you may already send let's just dive right in. So the amount of damage modeled by uniform distribution is 0 to B. 0 to B. And we know and the policy is deductible to a deduct policy is subject to a deductible of B over T, B over 10. The policyholder experiences automobile damage. Find a standard deviation of payout divided by the standard deviation of damage. So if we know damage, x is just this. We know, if, I actually proved this in my other video, but the variance of a uniform distribution is just a minus b squared over 12. So this is equal to a minus b, o, b squared over 12, where a is 0 and b is just b. So this is equal to b squared over 12 is the variance. So we know standard deviation is square root of b squared over 12, which is just equal to b over square root of 12. And for the variance of the loss, we just, for the variance of the loss, we know our favorite formula, variance of x is equal to expectation of second moment squared minus the first moment, the whole thing squared. So we know the payout from zero to deductible is zero because the insurance company is not paying anything out of pocket. It's all the customer paying it. But from the deductible, it is just X minus the deductible, right? So the expectation of X is equal to from the deductible, which we know is B over 10, to the B. They're paying X minus deductible, which we is, which is B over 10. And then times the probability function, the probability function for a uniform distribution is just 1 over b minus a, where a is just 0, so we get 1 over b dx. So this is equal to, we can just throw the 1 over b outside, and we get x minus b over 10 squared times 2 here, where x is equal to, going from b over 10 to b is equal to, x is equal to b. So when we plug in the upper limit, we get 1 over 2b, b minus b over 10 squared, minus b over 10. When I plug in b over 10 here, it, it will just become 0. So this is also equal to 1 over 2b, 9 over 10 squared, 9 over 10b squared. Agreed? Or I can simplify this further. I can cancel the B on the top with the B on the bottom, so you get 9 over 10 B over 2, which is also equal to 9 over 20 B. All right, time for second moment. For second moment, instead of X, we just do X squared. So the range is still the same, but instead of X, we go X squared. Probability function is still the same. So you get 1 over 3 B x minus b over 10 cubed, evaluating from x is equal to b over 10 to x is equal to b. When I plug in just b, I get 1 over 3b is equal to b minus b over 10 cubed. And then again, when I plug in b over 10, you get 0. So this is just equal to 9 over 10 Oh, this one right here, I messed up here. So if it's 9 over 10 squared, that should be 9 over 10 whole thing squared, b squared over 2b. So when I cancel the b, I'm left with 1b. But the numerator is 9 squared over 10 squared times 2b. So that's our expectation. So this one right here is similarly 9 over 10 cubed over 3b. And this is b cubed, by the way. So that one of the b's cancel out. So you get 9 over 10 cubed times b squared over 3. So plugging into our variance formula, our variance of x is equal to ex squared, which is, I'm just going to simplify this real quick. So that's 9 over 10 cubed divided by 3. So that's 
b squared minus 9 squared divided by 200. So that's 0 0.405 b and this, this whole thing squared. So this is equal to 0 0.078975 v squared. Or st it, it, for standard deviation of x, it's just the square root of this number right here. 0 0.078975 b squared. So this is equal to 0 0.2810 b. All right, so we have the standard deviation for, for both of them. So we just have to do the standard deviation of payment divided by standard deviation of x, where standard deviation of x is right here that we found earlier. So this is 0 0.28810 b over b over square root of 12. So b's cancel out, and this becomes 0 0.2810 times square root of 12, which is equal to 0.9734, which is our answer E. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!